What's going on? Welcome back for another video. Thanks for being here. Let's get started. All right, today I'm sitting down to listen to Riot by Paramore. I decided to call this one a mini reaction because I do already know exactly half of this album. And you know, I'm not about that false advertisement, okay? Not about that clickbait. I want it to be upfront. This album is 12 tracks long and out of those 12 tracks, I already know six of them. We're only gonna be listening to the six that I haven't heard yet. Those six are, for a pessimist, I'm pretty optimistic. And then we're gonna skip like five songs. Miracle, We Are Broken, Fences, Born For This, and then I will listen to the acoustic version of Misery Business. Yes. I wasn't planning on doing this one since I have heard so much of it, but it's been requested quite a bit, so I was like, it. And with all that being said, I'm ready to jump into it. This is my reaction for Riot, kind of. <laughs> this is my mini reaction to Riot by Paramore, and we're gonna get started right now. All right, track number one, for a pessimist, I'm pretty optimistic. And if that doesn't encapsulate my whole state of being, I don't know what does. Let's hear it. Let's hear it a little quieter. Oh my gosh, they came out the gate swinging! <laughs> They're going really hard. I wasn't quite ready for that. I don't know if you saw the physical jump. Okay, her voice is just so, so special to me, and ah, this was such a great time for music. One, two, three, four! She's telling this man off! She said... We're gonna have a sweat. Wow, let me calm down. She's dragging this dude, dragging. She was like, hey, come here. I have something to tell you, ha! That's for you. Like, damn, Haley, we just got started. <laughs> He's into it. Oh, wow, what an opener, okay. I'm hype, I'm ready, let's keep going. Okay, so now we have our big leap of faith down the track list. Tracks two, three, four, five, and six. I already know, so we're gonna skip those ones. We are moving on to track number seven, Miracle. I, are they doing this on purpose? I swear they're making the first note like six times louder than the rest of the song, just to scare me personally. <laughs> One thing about Haley Williams, she's gonna write a melody. Yes, she is, you little bitch. Don't say otherwise. <laughs> like, who am I mad at? She writes these with someone else in the band, right? Josh Faro? Faro? Sorry, sir. But like, these melodies, because even on the tracks that I already knew before this, some of my favorite melodies ever. Something about their music just makes my body want to like shake compulsively. It's like the only correct response. Mm. You know when you listen to an album and you're like, any song in this album probably could have been a single? That's how I feel right now. Especially because the next song is Crush Crush Crush, which was a single, right? Like that's eight songs in a row. Not not five. That is eight songs in a row. Eight songs in a row that probably could have been singles. Also, shout out to the rest of the band. The instrumentation is going really f***ing hard. I'm like pissed that it's taken me this long in life to listen to the rest of this album. There's no excuse. There's no good reason. Let's just keep going. Miracle I really loved. There's a stubbornness to it that I can relate to. She was like, I came here for a f***ing miracle and I'm not leaving until it happens. And that's something I can connect with. All right, we are skipping track number eight. Crush, crush, crush. And this is track number nine, We Are Broken. Oh, wow. Her voice on this chorus. This one is giving me such an Avril feel. I can really hear this song having been an Avril Lavigne song. It's a little more alternative and less like, you know?
Wow. Wow, that was really pretty. I like that we calmed it down a little bit. I sensed I was getting too riled up anyway, so her voice on this one, especially in the chorus, is just euphoric to me. I really like how different it is from the rest of the album. Yeah, something about this one just feels a little more nostalgic than the rest of them. I'm not sure what it is. If anything looks different, my battery died. <laughs> so I had to take a short recess, but now we're back. All right, this is track number 10, Fences. We just got very yeehaw. Was not expecting this. Oh, she's mad at someone. Feels like it has something to do with like the media or the paparazzi. Fences, there it is. Oh, who is she mad at? I can't tell if this is aimed at the media or someone else who's like also in the limelight, but she's pissed at someone. It felt a little bit diabolical. Ha! <laughs> a little backhanded, not gonna lie, like she was plotting someone's downfall. Uh, and I'm here for that. If somebody did her wrong, I support justice being served, you know? The energy on this one is fun, very different from anything else on the album. I'm not sure what about it gives me like giddy up vibes. I think it's that like southern sounding guitar. All right, this is track number 11, Born For This. Airwaves? Oh, sh the pressure. Is this about their career? Born for this, like born to make music? Born to deliver this album? That would make sense. Pressure? Pressure, like from the label, from the industry? Yeah, no, yeah. Is it connecting? Hey! Yes. I feel like this song could be looked at in one of two ways. It could either just be her saying like, live your life to the fullest, sing every song like it's your last song. That's what you were born for, to go live your life. Or this could be a very personal song about their career. I feel like there's little hints of things that are aimed at maybe the industry, maybe the record label, but obviously born for this could apply to that as well. Like she was born to make music. But I think the fact that I can't really tell one way or another what it's actually about is a testament to how good the writing is. I mean, taking your own personal situation and writing it into a way where other people can apply it to themselves is like literally the definition of art. <laughs> so let's give it up for that. Let's give it up for art. <laughs> All right, this is track number 12, the last track on this album, the acoustic version of Misery Business. I never means you I mean, this song is just absolutely timeless. And listen, I know that it's problematic. I know that people have an issue with it. And I know that they don't really perform it anymore and yada yada. Let me be clear, I don't support slut shaming, but I do love this song and I am going to listen to it for the rest of my life. I'm not sorry. Oh, I never meant to break. All right, that was the acoustic version of Misery Business. I like the acoustic version. Obviously, I will always prefer the original. It just goes way too hard, way too hard. Who gave them the right? But I do love how clearly you can hear her voice in this version and whoever was on the guitar was f***ing it up, so. All right, and that already brings us to the conclusion of this album, probably because we only listened to half of it. Although it took me about 14 years to finally listen to the rest of this project, which is honestly embarrassing, I feel a sense of relief knowing that I have finally completed it. I'm very happy to know that the rest of these songs are just as strong as the ones that I already knew. I actually believe that the entire album from start to finish is solid. There's really no filler or songs that 
I would skip. The sound of this album and just this era in general was so, so epic. And I'm happily adding these other songs to my library today. <laughs> like, what was the holdup? What was, I don't know what I was waiting for. It's just weird. Anyway. All right, for this mini reaction, I'm gonna slide a mini ranking of the album right over here for you so you can see how I felt about these songs after my first listen. I'm not going to include any of the ones that I knew prior. I'm just going to rank the six that we listened to today. But as always, drop your ever in any thought in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about all of these songs, the album as a whole, and that is just about gonna wrap it up for this video. I would like to thank you so, so much for watching. Please take care of yourself, and I'll see you next time.